Hello everyone, um, this is a small tutorial on the new Counter-Strike Global Offensive SDK in Hammer because I haven't found any good tutorials on how to make, uh, how to use the dynamic shadows in the new Source Engine. So it's actually quite simple. I've got this map here, you need to have a skybox and you need to find out what skybox you want to use. Um, I am using the dust skybox sky dust so when you found out about that you want to make your skybox around your map and then you want to go to this uh, website that Valve's made uh, where they have ideal settings for all of the different skyboxes and the one we are searching for is sky dust this is the old one from Counter-Strike Source and this is the new one so you want to go back into Hammer and you want to create an entity which is called Light Environment. This is nothing new. You would normally use this too to um, light up your whole map. So just place that anywhere in the map and double click it so you can open up the settings. So here we're going to put in the settings that Valve has given us, the ideal settings, so that the shadows will actually come from the sunlight stuff like that so um, sun angle is the pitch your roll and that is 0430 so I'm gonna put in that and the pitch is minus 50 I'm gonna put in that and brightness is actually also um, the color of uh, the light so this is going to be kind of yellowish as far as I remember because it's a desert kind of, yeah, desert kind of skybox and this, I don't know what it actually does but you need it just put it in, whoops, copy it in just like that okay, save that and now we need another entity because this alone does not make the dynamic shadows so create a an entity called shadow underscore control and place that right next to your light environment double click it and we want it to have the same um, pitch your roll so 0430 save and you don't need to touch any other settings make sure this is set to no if you set it to yes you will not have dynamic shadows I believe this is a dynamic entity so that you can uh, disable the shadows I'm not sure though and the outputs and inputs I don't know though but yeah so next step obviously is to compile so uh, you want to compile with a high dynamic range all the shadows will not uh, come out probably so go ahead and compile <coughs> 